Cyhawk Trophy goes to the Iowa Hawkeyes, twenty-seven to seventeen. Turnovers galore. It was. It was it too big of a spot for the Cyclones. No, no. Iowa's just better than them. Iowa, Iowa is, is bigger. Fantastic. Iowa is stronger. Iowa is better than them. Iowa at is football. So good. So I, this is what I said on the Bet US show, and, and I've said this multiple times with with you when we've talked about this game over the past what six years that we've been doing this. I was just about to say uh, Iowa State wants to do what Iowa does. It's just that Iowa's been doing it longer and they're better at it. That's right. It's really hard to beat somebody at their own game when they've been doing it longer than you've been alive. Yes. Like Kirk Ferentz, this is this it, it's what he does. Like this is not yes. like Iowa. I I can't believe this line and this line was getting bigger, Gary. This line I, I got it at three and a half. It closed at four and a half. I can't believe I was catching plus 150. So this is one of those caveats. You remember we talked about I got dogs, right? Like, this was a wrong team favor. This is the books had a mistake. This is, I shouldn't get credit for the Iowa underdog win straight up. Okay. No, no. Because I, no, nobody in the world outside of Iowa State fans really believed Iowa State was the better football team and should have been favored. Okay. So let me, let me tell you an interesting theory here, right? The, the numbers. Theories. We're gonna don't go with theories. <laughs> well, in the preseason, look, we we talked about the game of the year lines Fucking and all that kind of preseason. stuff. Jesus Iowa Christ. State was up, or not? They were favored by five and a half in the preseason. I know. Now, but that was wrong. That was wrong then. I, I understand. Hey, hold on. Advanced stats from this game. Now, of course, that tries to take out like turnover luck and all this other kind of stuff, right? Well, when one I, team has four turnovers, you can't take out turnover luck. Agreed. I understand that. I'm talking just basic advanced analytics. The post game win expectancy for Iowa State in this game was ninety one percent. They their success rate was through the roof. Their points per opportunity was much higher than Iowa's. Like it was, it, their their average starting field position. That's that was the biggest problem there. Iowa, their average start was fifty eight point one yards. Iowa State started on their twenty every time, but but they like, made that happen. I know, I know, they absolutely made it happen. I'm talking about it, that kind of. Those kind of numbers like you are not can't, sustainable. If you're going to tell me I'm going to take out all the turnovers, then, well, yeah, the <laughs> other team's going to win all the time. Like, what are you talking about? When you turn the ball over four times, you can't say, I'm going to give you a stat, but I'm going to remove all the turnovers. Well, no, it's because, it, it, look, you, you can't bet week to week expecting Iowa to be able to score points off of every turnover that they get, right? Like, it's impossible no, to but do I, that. At, tell me, outside of the quarterback position, Name a position group that you think Iowa State's better than Iowa at. I, I don't think that they're better than them at the okay, quarterback then, position. Then I don't think they're better than world, them at any position. In what world should Iowa State be favored by more than a field goal in this game? A look-ahead line a year from now should have been close to a pick em game. All right? Yeah. There's no way on earth it should have been six. Yeah. No, you're uh, you're not wrong. A Akbar jumped in. Derek R., by the way, has jumped in with a lot of different comments. Joseph said, is that some Earl Grey tea? That's gangster. <laughs> This? No, this is just coffee, bro. <laughs> just coffee, brother. It is It is uh, in my Harry Potter mug, though. Yes. Derek R. Iowa is just good. Their defense is solid. And they're, they're really good. And their offense is very complimentary to their style of play. Yes, absolutely. Well, no, they, they don't. Hang on. They create turnovers, and they never turn the football over. If you take the ball away from Iowa, take that some bitch home and put it in the frame because it don't happen very often. You're right. You're right. Eight hey, Spencer Peters, by the way, or Petrus, whatever, uh, negative 4.8 PPA on the day. So that's that's cu- uh, cumulative EPA for the game. He he was good in the second quarter, and that was it. Like he he did not play but, well. But and he doesn't matter. have to be. If like, they ever get a good quarterback, Gary, hold on your ass because they're going to run away with football. I think Petrus can end up being good eventually. This has got to sting for Iowa State, though. This was supposed to be the year. This was well, their time to shine. And I'm telling you, I think I, we talked about this. I was going to win the Big Ten West. They I think. Oh, I, hang on. You you stopped it. You should have stopped it one more too early. Uh, just the Big Ten? Uh, just the Big Ten. I'm sorry. You think it's a big deal to win their division. I think it's I, a bigger deal to win the conference. No, it okay. is. I'm, I'm, I am I'm got confused there. I Or not confused. Just My the words Big came Ten. out wrong. Hold on. No. At, you think that they are going to win the Big Ten over Ohio I think, State, I, over Penn State. I think over- this defense, if C.J. Stroud is bad at accuracy now with no pressure at all, he hasn't played a good defense yet. 
What do you think he's going to do when Iowa State uh, uh, Iowa comes to town? How many turnovers do you think he's going to have are when we, he actually gets pressured and he plays a secondary that is hawkish? Are we sure that he's going to be the quarterback? It, all right, hang on. At that point? Right now, do you not believe that Ryan Day thinks he's got the best quarterback he's got on the field? Yes. Do I, you think the guy behind him is going to be more accurate than him? Because the guy that. coming up behind him is going to be a true freshman probably. I mean, I, don't I know, know he's got a beautiful young. head of lettuce, and I know that he's you know got a million dollars in his pocket. Well, no, I mean, it could be, he could play Kyle McCord. He could play like he could do all kinds of stuff. I think like, I think Ryan Day is probably one of the best offensive minds in all of college football, and I think he knows who the best quarterback he has is. And I just maybe think he doesn't have the quarterback on the roster this year. Not that those possible. guys behind him won't be better next year. Not that CJ Stroud won't be better next year. Or later this year, these guys can all improve and get better. Not that they are finished products because they're not. They're all extremely young. I'm not saying that. I'm telling you right now, he looks bad against terrible defenses. Two teams that I don't think are good at playing defense, he looks bad against. What do we think he's going to look like when he plays a defense like this? Uh, you you think he's wrong. just going to magically get better? Uh, no, no, you're you're not wrong. You know, I mean, that will be at the end of the season, so there's uh, development yes, time that's, there. That's right. So but, add pressure on top of this that that kid has never experienced before. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Here, All we right. got to move on. I know, they've got, gotta, I know they got those little pot leaves on the side of their helmet, and we're just supposed to just assume that they're the better football team, and those boys from Iowa never are the better football team. And so we just never give them the benefit of the doubt. That's fine. I'll hitch, I'll hitch my wagon to the 80-year-old man, okay? <laughs> Kirk is not that old. <laughs> so I would just get a he big looks, time. He looks 80. I will tell he, you this. This game has worn on his ass. Yes. Oh, I, I think that, he, that man has aged like presidents. He aged with that uh, with that scandal big time. Yes. La- big time. From, from what he looked like in 2019, 2018 to what he looks like now, I mean, he's this is, this is the way presidents, when they get into office and four years later, they look like they're 12 years older. He the last three years he looks like he's aged about a decade. Yes, yes, indeed. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.